In this problem, we're going to find the derivative of this function. So the function is x squared times the arctangent of 3x. So we have to use a couple formulas in order to do this problem. The first one we need to know is the product rule. Recall if you have two functions, f times g, and you take the derivative, think of f as your first function and g as your second function. So this will be the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. This is called the product rule from calculus. The next thing we need is the formula for the derivative of the arctan function. So if we have arctangent of x and we want to take the derivative, the formula is 1 over 1 plus x squared. So with these two formulas and with also the chain rule, <laughs> we should be able to do this problem. Okay, let's just do it. So h prime of x is equal to, so this is the first piece, x squared, and this is the second piece, our tangent of 3x. So the derivative of the first is 2x times the second. So our tangent of 3x plus the first, which is x squared, times the derivative of the arctangent of 3x. So the derivative of arctangent is 1 over 1 plus x squared. So here it's 1 over 1 plus 3x squared times the derivative of the inside. But there's a chain rule because it's 3x. So the derivative of 3x is simply 3, and that's because the derivative of x is 1. If it was just arctangent of x, you could think of the chain rule as being applied in that case as well. Check it out. It's 1 over 1 plus x squared times the derivative of x, which is 1. So in theory, you're always kind of using the chain rule. The way I think about it is, though, whenever it's something besides x, we have to invoke the power of the chain rule. It says that we have to finish the derivative process by multiplying by the derivative of the inside. That's pretty much it. Um, you don't want to leave your answer like this. You maybe want to put these things upstairs. Let's go ahead and rewrite it. This will be 2x arctangent of 3x plus, and then 3x squared. So 3x squared over 1 plus. Let's go ahead and multiply this out. If you square the 3, you'll get 9. If you square the x, you'll get x squared. And that, my friends, would be the final answer to this problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.